A kingdom that cannot be shaken. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Do you also tend to forget amidst the busyness and the challenges that daily life brings? We tend to forget to involve God in our lives. His kingdom is a wonderful kingdom and we cannot involve him enough in this life already, in big topics, in small topics, in all kinds of things, in decision making, in our worries, in our expectations, in our joy. How great are God's signs, Daniel 4 verse 3. How great are God's signs, how mighty his wonders. His kingdom is an eternal kingdom. His dominion endures from generation to generation. If a great promise to enter his kingdom, but already here in this life, we can involve God and experience to a certain degree his kingdom already. God wants to help us. He is a loving God. If we understand that we do not deserve his help, that we are not worthy as we are. By our being, we cannot enter his holy kingdom. But if we admit that we are not perfect, if we come in regret, asking God for forgiveness, for help, for grace, he is very welcome to help us. We can receive a lot from him in all our daily lives, in the smallest things the smallest decisions, topics, work, joy, hobbies, conflicts, challenges, health as well as sickness. We can receive his kingdom. Since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us also give thanks by which we offer to God an acceptable worship. Hebrews 12, verse 28. Let's pray. Lord, we give thanks to you. You give us a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We want to worship you. Thank you for your grace that you help us, that we can involve your mighty power into our ordinary lives that you do not reject us as we would deserve. Thank you for your mercy, for all your help. We pray that you also change our hearts to make us suitable for your kingdom, where your holiness reigns, and where finally we will have rest. To you be all praise and glory and honor forever. Amen.